it's Saturday, it's Vlogmas Day 9. I once again have my giant coffee mug and I am watching Housewives, clearly just chilling. And um, yeah, I haven't said hi yet, but that's because you haven't missed much on Glee. Sorry, I couldn't resist. Hi, today's kind of a busy day. My cousin is in town because he's moving here from Wyoming and he's like meeting with a family realtor that we know and then he's gonna like probably come over here and see me and my mom and there's like some stuff to be discussed and um, and then I have another Christmas party tonight. So I'm just trying to enjoy the, the calm before the storm but I definitely am feeling like I need to, I just feel like icky right now. Like I had too much to eat yesterday and I mean, I had some drinks, but I feel fine. It's just that I feel like I want to go out on a run and or I just want to get some kind of sweat in. I'm just feeling and eat like an apple, like just something with nutrients and something good for me. So after I finish this coffee and stuff, like maybe that's what I'll do and then shower and get ready for all the, all the other stuff that's happening today. All right, I've gotten my act together a little bit. I like made the bed, you know, changed all that stuff into just like workout clothes. And I wanted to show you, I feel like I've shown this before, but this, this is old packaging. I've definitely shown this before, but this is like ugh, one of my favorites. It's from Lush and it's the scent called Dirty. And my little secret, my dirty little secret, haha, is that, well, I'm obsessed with fragrance and I will wear perfume literally to go to bed when I get home from work, when I'm by myself. Like I have so much perfume and I love it that I'm constantly wearing it. And so this is a perfume I like to wear on a date like this where I'm gonna be real with you. I did not shower yesterday because I'm an evening showerer, but then like got home, went to the party, didn't get home till like 11 o'clock at night. And I, I just kind of, you know, so it's like not a big deal. I'll shower after I work out right now. But when I'm feeling just like a little bit dirty or if I'm like about to work out, this is like, this is just the vibe. It's super unique. It's, oh my God, it almost smells I, I I can't explain it. If you've smelled this, like, please comment down below. It is minty and super fresh and, like, almost smells like a masculine, like, aftershave or something. But I'm making it sound gross. It's just the most unique scent in the world. And I, and I just simply adore it. So, putting this on, trying to gear my brain up mentally to go on a run and I should probably do some other kind of workout too like weights and stuff like that we'll see we'll see we'll see we'll see we'll see it's like a mental game at this point you know checked the mail my friends are so cute all right whoa I put way too much cream in this because I'm not used to making like at-home coffees but whatever. This is a coffee. I did the same thing I did the other day. It's like iced coffee with a little bit of the vanilla syrup and then cream, but whoops, this is too much that I prefer, but it is what it is. I'm going to shower and figure out what the plan is for seeing my cousin. I don't know if my mom's coming over here and my cousin or what. I think so. I think we're going to meet here at my house. And then I think I told you I have a, another friend's Christmas party tonight. If I didn't tell you, that's the plan. And one of my friends was going to come over here and we were going to like pregame before. So I better get a move on. Channeling my inner Annie, Esther, and Kalila from the Trash Tuesday podcast by having a banana break. Also, look how cute my shirt is. Jake got me this shirt like two years ago. It's a Baby Spice t-shirt and I'm just like in sweat, like Teddy Fresh sweatpants and yeah, I just want to be as comfortable as possible until I have a plan and know what I need to get ready for. <laughs> Y'all, being a vinyl collector or fan is so tough because then you think of all the albums that you really want on vinyl, like this gem, if you, like, hello, this is a perfect album. Um, hello, I'm not going to pay that. Ugh, I, I feel like Urban, that's a, probably an Urban Outfitters pressing. 
And it's probably from not that long ago. And I wish they would put it back out so I could snatch it up. Anyway, if you have any ideas of how to get vinyl for cheaper, then, you know, holler at me. I don't think there are, but <laughs> it's worth an ask. I mean, here it is on eBay for less. I think if I had a different job, aka, yep, urban, of course. AKA like a different stream of income. I could totally justify this, but I don't know if I can right now. But gosh, look at that. My favorite song is numbers. Oh, that's so cute that all the numbers are different. Like, whoops, like the dice for number six. Better off. That's one of my favorites. Unreachable. Ugh. These girls at my school had to dance to that song. I think like my junior year or senior year of high school. Like iconic maybe i i don't know i don't know let me let me think on this because this is a need i feel i'm so sorry how is he real he's so perfect and precious oh, my best friend my very best friend i would like to read but instead i'm doing this Shout out. Now I'm on this vinyl mission. Uh, that's dope. Lemonade mouth. How fun. I mean, Urban has the most fun music. Turn up the music. Um, Where's like the big song? I don't remember now, but like I had a moment with Lemonade Mouth. Every Disney kid did. Oh, somebody. Duh. That is the jam. Okay, my cousin just called, he's on his way. My mom's on her way. So I should probably put on real clothes. <laughs> Nothing like having people come over to get your stuff in gear. I finally did my nails. I did like tidied up just like a little bit. And I think I'm gonna have a tiny little like piece of cheese or something, I'm so hungry right now. It, was, it started really good, but as soon as I got to Tempe Marketplace, it got pretty nuts. Oh yeah. I mean. I down in Queen Lots Creek where we were today. That was So my cousin and mom just left. That was nice spending time with them. Oh, I had to muzzle this poor baby. I mean, I didn't have to, but he does not do well with new people, especially men. And I was trying, I've heard that like if you muzzle them, it can potentially instead of what's the word, reinforcing the behavior that when he's feeling really scared, he will like nip. He's generally scared, so he doesn't always like go after a person. It's mostly if they're like walking past, he'll kind of go nip their ankles and stuff like that. But anyway, but if they're muzzled, then it, it, it doesn't allow them to like bite. And so then it's not reinforcing that like I'm scared, I'm anxious, I need to bite, whatever. So yeah, that was really nice. My cousin is moving here in early 2024. And he has lived in like Wyoming or Mont and or Montana for the last like 20 years, I feel like. Uh, maybe less than that. But so he might need a place to live temp like while he's figuring out, you know, he wants to buy. But like that can be really hard to just make a snap decision, especially uh, the housing market is so crazy. And so... There's a chance that he will live with me. I mean, we'll see. It's like, he's he's awesome. He's eight months younger than me, so he's always kind of been like a brother. Um, we grew up pretty close, but then, yeah, he's lived out of state for a while. And, like, we're super different, but we're, we're homies. We're first cousins, you know? And he's very like, I don't want to uproot your life. Like, I promise it'll be no hard feelings. I totally get it. But, but it's like, I'm like, you're family, and... Uh, it would save me some money and that would be nice. And I don't know, we'll see. So that's kind of something I'm thinking about, but it's about time for my friend Jemima. Oh, poor cannoli. He's going to be all crazy again. He's met Jemima and she's actually very good with him, but this is just a lot for him in one day. So yeah, I'm going to start getting ready. Problem is though, I realize I basically haven't eaten anything today. I mean, I had a banana piece of cheese and some dots pretzels but 
I, I wasn't sure if I was going to eat with my mom and cousins. So like I didn't eat anything, but then we just sat around and talked and anyway, I'm going to probably turn on some tunes or maybe put on housewives or a podcast or something and put a little bit of makeup on, figure out what I'm going to wear and get this party started in the makeup chair <laughs> wearing one of my holiday sweaters. It lights up, but I'm not going to turn it on until I like I'm ready to go. I'm forever tempted to do like fun makeup, especially when it's like a festive time. So I'm like for real thinking of, also I'm influenced by watching Trisha Paytas on, you can't even see it, on the Just Trish podcast. She has this like sleigh of a sparkly silver eye. And I'm thinking of like digging into this Urban Decay electric palette and using that silver. I don't know. I don't know. Is that crazy? Well, it's not. I'm fine with wearing crazy makeup. It's just that like, will I be able to execute it right now? I don't know. I simply need to eat something. So this protein bar is going to be that thing for now. Hi, Trisha and Gigi Gorgeous. Great podcast. This is crazy. Look who's here. I look crazy. Have you been vlogging today? Yes, ma'am. I don't have any lipstick on. Hey, so. Diane. Hey, girl. She literally tells me she watches your videos all the who's time. Diane? Diane. Uh, second grade. Oh, she every does. Time, every time. I saw you on Miss Luhan's vlog. Baby girl. I saw you on Miss Luhan's You know vlog. who else tells me that is Emma oh, yes. in second grade. She was, yep, I watch videos every day after school. Hey, girls. I love was, you. Here's cannoli. Oh, I love that stuff. Do you know who Janessa Myricks is? No. She's a black makeup artist and her products are fire. She, they sell they sell them in Sephora. Good to know. Well, like I didn't know you were gonna BYOB. I was happy to oh, provide you. I mean you still can. Okay. Just, where's Jackie? Yeah, he's coming. He's oh, just a oh, slow no, man. I'm just wondering. <laughs> he didn't even know that like my cousin and my mom were coming over. He was just like oh. Um, oh, Jemima's gonna be there on six. Yeah, I'll probably be there by then too. I'm like, all right, babe, do your. He's just slow, but that's fine. Thanks. I die that you just laugh at him. Because it's so funny. Because he's. He's just so cute. Hey, he is so cute. Thank you for, you know, being a bad bitch about it. <laughs> you were right about the ankles. Uh, did, it, did it hurt? Did he get you? Oh, okay. I'm not even wearing these shoes. First time playing this baby. Yeah, it is. And you should have seen it at the party last night. They were dying laughing because people would open up. There were three. There were three Bath and Body Works candles that got opened in the thing. Oh, really? And I go, Vanilla B. Noel, it was from across the hall. And they were like, girl, what the? And then I did it again with like a more obscure one. And they were like, everyone. All the staff was like, Katie, what? And I was like, I know me some Bath and Body Works. And then I ended up stealing that Vanilla B. Noel. Okay, wait. Was this stuff good? Um. It's, I have no idea. It's been in my fridge for a while. I think since my Valentine's Day, I want to say. May I offer you some? Sure. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's cute. Wow. Surprise? Yeah, let's see what you got, babe. What? Boy genius? Mm, yeah. She's and fascinated with like the. This is a band of options that I got from the record collection. Cool. I don't find this, but I get it. This is a old EP by The Progress. Like I said, he has cooler stuff than I do, but he also has like every Kendrick album and like just like cool. I'm like. That's cool. Yeah, I have every variant of every Taylor album ever. They're really fun. Yes, those ones, please. Thank you. Are you leaving? Yeah. Okay. He's... Hey, no. Bubba. No. Why? You know it. Hi. Oh, yay! Oh, 
Hi, I'm Katie. I'm nice to meet you. Are you Catherine? Yes. Oh my God, me too. <laughs> Yay! So festive. Yeah, my second one. Yeah, I didn't realize I had all this time. I look I already am. Next to me, that's <laughs> saying something. Hi, Abby. <laughs> You're going to be in the vlog that the students watch. The students watch this? Literally. The little kids. Literally. The little, the little kids. kids. They're like, this little one I saw. And I'm like, oh, no. hey, girl. Literally, literally. <laughs> they can steal it from me instead. <laughs> and so then, yeah. Do you have to explain that? Like, <laughs> 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 yeah. I mean, it ain't bad. I'm all back over ice inside of a cranberry cup. <laughs> I'm nothing to say. I'm just vlogging. Go ahead, tell them. When I read people, oh, I look pale. You I keep can. saying that. Because I do. It's because you're next because to I'm, me. No, because I'm in my winter color. And if you, behind people, you know, like you just feel <laughs> paler, but you match your neck. It yeah, just, everyone's paler. But I just look real. Anyway, tell them about the new um, Instagram app called Trends. Trends. <laughs> That's what it's called. I said threads. It irritates me. They will notify you of whoever is there. Yes. Everybody on Trends. Is yes. Supposed to. And I'm like, I don't care because why? We have Twitter, aka X. But AKA also, X. I don't stand that because Mr. Musk went and bought that, and now I don't. I went on Twitter for the first time today, actually, and I was like, "Ooh, yeah, no, this is a sit. I gotta get off. I gotta get off." You know that he invested like, let's say it was thirty-seven billion. Because it's Twitter now, is it's good. now. No, Twitter was great, but now it's worth like twenty billion. Like it's plummeted. Oh, it's plummeted. Yeah. Well, because, yeah, because everybody got off because it died real quick. But the people who were, it's like the people who were hardcore tumblers. You know who's a hardcore Where are tumbler? My hardcore tumblers? It's Jake. That's what I'm saying. Jake loves I was Twitter. Like, oh, Twitter or Tumblr? Well, I was Twitter. I was like, oh, that's what I'm saying. Like, people who loved Twitter loved Twitter because. Yeah. Twitter was the trends the when the trends were popping. Trending. The yep. trends yep, were yep, popping. Yep, yep. I was cackling. Cackling. I will never forget Taylor Swift's over party. You guys ready to go? What's happening? Are you done? Sure. But babe, why, give us a 30 elevator pitch. Why do you love Twitter? Can I film um, you? Because it's the best. It's funny. Go ahead. It's say the that again. <laughs> The lighting is really. Yeah, well, I'm very back there. It's, it's the funniest one. Come stand by the tree. Come on, it get is. by the tree. <laughs> It'll be a nice. One. It has the most natural community building it does. environment. Even it though does. Elon it's Musk just... has killed it. Yes. Like, killed it so bad. Like, Twitter, yeah. like, 2019, 2018 was so good. I was on Twitter for hours. What were you looking at? Trends. You would just get so deep and lost. In... So, someone will post a topic. And then just whatever. The passion. Like, it just, oh my God. It was yeah. so good. Tell you, Twitter's the best. <sighs> it's, it's like, but it's, Jake still it's, loves it's, it's that. Like, it's like a hundred times worse than it used to be. But it's still better than ever. It's still better than ever. That's, from that's, from that's <laughs> how good Twitter, oh, Twitter was so good that it's a hundred times worse now and it's still the best one. And it's still, <laughs> it's still good. I was on it today and I was like, you know what? This is still <laughs> busting. This, this is still busting. <laughs> Twitter still busting. Breaking news. We won't. We won't. That's, that's how you know it's Twitter was insane. Night two of getting home late. Hi, baby. And. Ah! Hi, baby. Oh my god. Sorry, Jemima. Huh. Oh, it's you. Yeah, you forgot. I didn't forget. I was busy. Way too slow. Oh, well. Anyway, night two of having to come through the front door. No, I was taking off my shoes. But, oh no. He, anyway, it doesn't matter. Back to the floor. On the fritz. Yeah, what I was saying is that, like, the, the garage wasn't working again. 
So I had to come through the front door and it's like, good thing I had my keys. Now I'm like pretty, I don't know. Like I try to always have my keys when I leave the house even though I didn't drive, but anyway. Shout out to my eye makeup, I kinda like it. And my glitter, but I'm about to take it all off. So I just had to show it one more time. Ending the vlog here. Good night.